tuning in again. Uh, this one's another video, it's going to be the second video I'll do with Reactor's chart music. Last week's reaction I had to, it, to the video was really, really good. So uh, I'm going to do it again this week. We've got two songs to review this week, one by Zed one by Kesha. So it should be a pretty quick video this week, so we'll jump straight into it and we'll review Get Low by Zed featuring Liam Payne first. So instantly it's got that sort of shuffle to it again like last week. Got that sort of synth like uh, what Jessica and Adam rather be a couple of years ago. I haven't really got much to say about it so far, it's just kind of just sounds like everything else in the charts. It's really got that shuffle, it's sort of again it's that summer house, that summer tropical house sort of thing, you know. Not with the marimba this time, it's got like a sort of clocky synth on it. But that shuffle straight on there and the clicks, you know. The auto filter again on the bass drum and the synth, sort of fading it all out and then fading it back in underneath the vocal, you know. So far, it's just your stereotypical song, it, about a minute in. Lyrics aren't overly brilliant, I mean, it's so far we're a minute and 30 in and it's just like every other song in the charts at the moment, you know. That's why it's in the charts. It's another one of those songs in the charts that's got that sort of vocal look. You know, that's you know that punch out, the gear like gear yeah, like that thing. You know, like every song in the charts at the moment has it. All the ones that we have talked about last week, all the ones that are in the charts. You know, like Despacito, that's number one at the moment. It's got that one vocal hook that everybody remembers. And this is no different. I mean, it's another one of them songs that you can kind of predict where it's going to go, so you kind of know where it's really quite formulaic in groups of four. So you know where it's going to go. It's going to go to the bridge, then cruising with back to a chorus, just out. And then at the end of the song, you know, your typical three and a half minute pop song of 2017. I mean, yeah, like, whatever, it's not for me at all. It sounds like every other chart song that's come out in the last 16 weeks, you know. So it, it's, you know, really no different to anything else that's come out this year. It's got that shuffle, it's got that synth underneath it, it's got that vocal hook. So, you know, yeah, whatever, it's not something I'd ever listen to, so, so we'll move on, I think the next one's by Kesha, so we'll, uh, we'll load that one up now. Okay, so next and last up this week, we've got Praying by Kesha. Um, I can't say I've heard much Kesha stuff, you know, as a kid, like, you'd always hear it at discos and whatnot, and, you know, I've got a few mates that are into some of her stuff, but, um, you know, I don't really know what to expect, so we'll give it a listen, and we'll, we'll see what it's like. It's different, so I already like it more than the last one. I like that her voice is quite low in her registers. I'm thinking that this is about, um, obviously she was in um, the sort of the media the last few years to have all the trouble with um, the people in her label and I'm not sure exactly what the story was, so I don't want to say anything. But like, um, it sounds a lot like she had that, it's, it's written about that sort of issue. I actually really like it, but I, I love sort of piano music straight away. So I am liking this. I feel like it's got some room to sort of add some instruments into it as well, so I think it might do maybe. The lyrics are really good as well. You can tell that she wrote this herself. Falsetto is really nice. She's got a very nice voice. She reminds me of Jessie J. Um, when Jessie J did Is It Who You Are that she did a few years ago. And the strings coming out now sounds really, really nice. It's got that sort of typical pop rhythm to the voice as well, but not in a way that it's the same as everything else because all the instruments are so different. So that so it kind of makes it unique. Oh, we've got some drums on it now. It's a choir in the background that I really like as well, and her vocal sounds really good. It must have taken a lot. If this is about what I think it is, then it must have taken a lot to put this song out. So you know, fair dues to Kesha. It isn't at all what I was expecting from a Kesha song, you know. The ones that you hear are so completely different to this, but this is really good. It reminds me a little bit of Pixie Lot. But she sounds at ease singing these notes as well, which sometimes for a, you know, a female vocal can be quite difficult. It's a very, very nice song. I really like that one. That's easily my favourite one that I've done for this so far. I really, really like that one. I'll probably listen to that one again straight away. 
Um, it, it, like I say, it was completely out of left field for what I expected from Kesha. You know, usually I'd, I've associated Kesha with sort of, I can't remember what the song's called, but it's quite a dancey sort of, everybody knows that sort of song. But that one's completely different. Like I said, it reminds me of Pixie Lot, but, um, which is a compliment. I really like um, Pixie Lot stuff. So yeah, I'll definitely be listening to that one again. But um, yeah, they're, they're the two songs for this week. The first one, not so good, but the second one, really, really, really good. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure you give me a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Um, share it around as well, make sure that everybody sees it, and then uh, hopefully next week we'll get someone else to come and help me out and react with me as well, so we get sort of a second opinion. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I say, like, comment, subscribe, I'll put some other videos to the side. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you next week. Thank you.